Good morning, guys. Welcome back or to the channel. In today's video, I know this is a little different scenery. Um, it is real early in the morning. Um, it's gonna be a long day, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, so a little backstory. So yesterday, um, my best friend who bought her dream truck not long ago, hit me up and said, hey, uh, my truck is ticking. Um, so after a long chain of events, when calling with her, um, back to her house last night, me, her, and a friend changed spark plugs in the truck and uh, wires. I got home at like 2 a.m. It is now um, almost five and I'm headed back out. She doesn't know I'm leaving this early, but uh, her truck, I don't know what it's doing. So uh, I told last night that first thing this morning, and I wasn't lying, first thing this morning, <laughs> I was gonna come grab our scanner and uh, come back and see if we can figure out what the check engine lights about and uh, whatnot. But, I've been wanting to make this video with the 300. Um, anyway, so I figured we'd go ahead and start it here because I'm gonna grab this scanner. It's currently raining, um, but I gotta get gas. It's early in the morning and this is like my favorite time for driving anyway. Um, so I figured, like I said, figured this would be a good time. But uh, yeah, so I am gonna grab this and uh, well, I guess, where's that? I will catch y'all at the gas station. I'm gonna have to find this scanner first though. <laughs> so I'm gonna find this, like I said, I'll catch y'all at, at it. This thing has been a lifesaver, but I'm gonna run up here. Uh, we're gonna fill the car up and uh, well, <laughs> like I said, I know this is a little bit different scenery. Um, make sure that's locked. And I say that as my alarm goes off, uh, but like I said, I know it's a little bit different scenery, a little bit different time frame than I normally film. Um, but I've been wanting to make this video for a bit. And like I said, um, I kind of figured, you know, I start showing a little more of this kind of stuff. Um, and again, this is like my favorite time to drive anyway. It's like real late at night, real early in the morning. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna head to the gas station, put some good old, you know, 87 in this thing. And uh, I guess we're headed to her house. Probably not gonna film much at her house, but regardless, I figured we'd get a jump on this video anyway. So here we go. <laughs> but like I said, I will catch y'all at the gas station. And if there's nobody else there, we'll kind of talk about this a little bit more. All right, so check it out. I might have lied. Um, <laughs> I got gas and uh, I was talking to a guy at the gas station about some 6 0 stuff. Um, <laughs> he was asking me, hey man, are you the guy that has the red 6 0? And I thought that was just super cool. But um, we started talking to him and talked to him like the whole time I got gas. Um, which is fine. I love that kind of stuff. But anyway, we're headed out. Uh, it is raining. It's also giving me a pretty good light show, um, which is pretty cool. You know, cruising down the road, listening to Jelly Roll on the radio, and uh, just kind of cruising. So I guess I'll catch y'all here in a bit because I know the whole. Um, dark screen thing. I know a lot of people don't like that. So 
I'll catch on here in a little bit. And uh, I want to go over my Kohler intake that I have here in the 300. So it's been a few months since I've had the intake, and I will say I absolutely love it. Um, we'll get on it for y'all. That way y'all can kind of hear it. Well, here's a good place to do it, matter of fact. So the thing sounds great. Makes the car sound great. The car's got some really nice pep to it. Um, all that kind of thing. But anyway, guys, like I said, I'll catch on here in a little bit. We'll go over this a little bit more when it's daylight out and uh, all that kind of thing. But yeah, like I said, I figured I would do something a little bit different um, for y'all. So, And no, I'm not filming and driving. Don't worry about it. Um, just so you know. But like I said, I'll catch on here in a bit and uh, we'll go over this a little bit more. All right, guys, so it is a few days later. Um, well, it's now Friday. I think the last time I filmed was Tuesday. I don't even remember. Um, it's been it's been a heck of a week. Um, as well as you can tell by all of the bugs on the front of the 300. Um, yeah, been driving a pretty good bit. Um, but regardless, I wanted to kind of go over the uh, colder intake. So I do get questions on the colder induction of the intake that I have on this car. Well, I'll, uh, I'll pop the hood and I'll show y'all. But I will say very, very happy with the intake. Um, I don't know how many miles we put on it. The car's now got 153, 584. So if anybody wants to go back and look and figure out how many miles I put on this thing. Um, I'll say probably over 4,000 if I had to guess. Um, and yes, the engine cover is still off. It's in the shop. Uh, but on the colder inductions, colder intake i mean you can you can obviously see we have we have put some miles on it uh but very 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 happy with this intake um fuel mileage has went up um i will say you can tell more power seems to have a little more throttle response uh definitely a lot more sound since we got rid of the factory one with the silencer that goes behind the bumper a whole whole heck of a lot quieter or with the factory stuff a um, lot more sound a lot more induction noise which is an amazing amazing thing um, can kind of be a little much sometimes if you're like really really getting on it but it's not a bad thing if that makes sense so well y'all seen the sound clip uh, from the other day. I forgot to film that. But like I said, I've been very, very happy with it um, and would 100% recommend anybody to get one. Um, now, my friend who I was going to her house the other day with the, our scanner, uh, we just dropped her truck off earlier for warranty, but that's another, that's another story for another day. Um, but we was talking about maybe getting her one for her truck once it's back from, uh, getting warranty work done and whatnot. So definitely something to look at and something to kind of study on a little bit, but I've been very, very happy with the colder inductions intake on this car. And I'll be honest, if they made them for Fords when the red trucks in the shop currently, but if they made them for Fords, I would 100% um, get one for them too. Cause I've been super, super happy with this one. And again, a little more sound, which is not a bad thing in this car um, because this car is very, very quiet. So you do get some induction noise, which is nice. A um, little more fuel mileage, a little more pep, a little more throttle response. I like it, um, I really do. So. With that being said, I would 100% recommend anybody to get one of these. Now, 
I will say they don't offer them for Fords. They only offer them for uh, Chrysler products, you know, Dodge, Jeep. I don't know about Jeep and Ram and all that stuff. Uh, and Chevrolets. So that's, uh, they're kind of limited. I wish they offered four more vehicles because like I said, we could put some on the white truck, the red truck. We have the blue truck over here. Um, you know, like I said, we might try to get one for her truck. So that's, uh, like I said, I mean, I might, and I might hit them up about that and say, hey, you know, what about making them for these vehicles um, and such stuff as that. But regardless, very, very happy. So with that being said, I got to run in. I got to do some stuff and uh, be back on the road again and uh, whatnot because I'm trying to move some stuff. I want to get another project. So, speaking of moving stuff and the white truck, I'm posting these wheels for sale. So if anybody, if they haven't sold it, if anybody wants some 2212 gear forged on 351250 22 uh, Teragrap G2s, let me know on Instagram. There's six lug forward, I got adapters uh, on the truck currently, but uh, these are for sale. And my Jeep is for sale. So I want to make room for something else, free up some cash, and, uh, well, <laughs> go spend it on something else. But, yeah, I want to do that. Um, the white truck, I know the white truck looks really, really good, but I don't drive that truck, uh, if we're being honest. I don't drive that truck enough for it to have such an expensive wheel and tire set up on it that are essentially just rotting away um and then my jeep i don't think i'll ever do anything with that jeep if we're being completely honest so i figure it's time to let it go we'll get something else get something cool that i'll actually use um but yeah i wanted to mention that but anyway guys i think that's going to be a wrap for this one so if y'all enjoyed today's video or find it helpful please drop a like and comment down below smash that subscribe button thanks for watching guys and i hope everybody has a great day